Welcome back to my Roblox Beginners scripting series. In this episode, we'll be discussing about printing and also just the introduction to scripting in general. Because in the last episode, we went over the basics of Roblox Studio and how to move around inside of Studio, how to mess with the properties and be familiar with the Explorer and everything like that. But this time, we're gonna be talking about probably one of the most important things that any Roblox developer will ever know. And that is going to be scripting. So. Any Roblox game that you play on the platform, there's functionality with everything that you do. Everything inside of any Roblox game is comprised of scripts that work together to create functionality on, on the games that you play on the platform. Like the way your character in game moves around is revolved around multiple scripts working together to make that happen. Uh, whenever a player types something in the chat, the chat system is working with multiple scripts to make sure that that message is being delivered to all the players that are in the game. And also just any functionality that you can imagine, whether that would be the pet opening system in Pet Simulator X, or jobs inside of a roleplay game, or buying buttons in a tycoon on Roblox. Like there's so many functionalities that I can list on Roblox. Anything that's interactive, anything you can do inside of a Roblox game revolves around scripting. And it all starts with an object called a script. Uh, the best way I can describe what a script is, is it's a document with written code by you, the developer, that contains a set of instructions written inside of a specific language that is then sent to Roblox Studio to process the information that you give it and then convert it into functionality that you can use inside of your Roblox game that you create. So where we're gonna first start with this is through print statements. And I will show you how by first showing you how to insert a script in Roblox Studio. So there's two ways of inserting scripts. Uh, one is through the ribbon up here. If you click on the model tab and then onto the right here, you can see that there's three options. There's script, local script, and module script. I'll show you what local script and module script does in a future video, but for right now, we're focused on the script. So if we come down to model and then click script, it'll automatically, uh, as you may have noticed, it brings us to a whole new screen and in the Explorer, it shows that our script has been automatically placed inside of Workspace. But before we come back in here, let's go back to the Workspace by clicking on these uh, these different tabs up here. So I'm, I'm actually gonna delete the script because personally, that's not my preferred way of inserting scripts or any other types of objects in the game. What I prefer doing is going to the Explorer and then clicking on the plus sign of wherever I want to place uh, the object I want in. So in this case, it's workspace. So we're gonna click on this little plus sign here, and then it shows us a list of all of these different things we can choose to put inside of the game. So there's a search bar here. We're gonna search up script, and then we're going to insert this green icon that just says script right here. So we're gonna click that, and then uh, it, it'll insert a script inside of our workspace in the Explorer, and it will it'll bring us to a new section, a, a new page here that shows us our script that we just added. Now, you might have noticed that Roblox has already added a, a line of code for us uh, by default. So we're actually gonna delete this because um, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna be using this for right now. What I want you to do is I want you to type exactly what I'm typing here inside of the script. And I'm, I'm gonna be showing you some stuff here that I want you to type that may not make sense right now, but it will definitely make sense for you in the future. I just want you to be able to familiarize yourself with, with typing um, inside of a script, I want you to get the gist of being able to write stuff down. So a script, like I said, it's a list of instructions given to Roblox Studio. So if I hit enter multiple times, uh, you can see that there's like a bunch of lines of code here on the left side that shows you how long your document is. Um, but that's one aspect of it. And so what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be adding a print statement. Now, a print statement is basically just a function where you can write whatever message you want and then you can display it inside of this output down here. Now, speaking of the output down here, you might not have this down here. So what you need to do is uh, you need to open it up by going to the view tab up here and then clicking on output right here. So if your primary focus is to be a Roblox scripter, then I think having the output here at all times is very useful. And I'm definitely gonna be having this output here throughout the rest of the series. So I advise you to go to the view tab and click on output so that you can see it down here. But now let me tell you what, what the output actually is. The output is essentially a log that shows you all sorts of messages relating to the game uh, that you're creating. So for instance, you can 
uh, you can write messages inside of your script and it'll appear down here inside of the output. Roblox will even sometimes throw in errors inside of your code to let you know that there's something wrong with your code. Because when you're writing code, it's not always gonna be perfect. It's really easy to mess up your code and then you're gonna have to go back to your code and then like fix whatever um, mistake that you made inside of your code. It's really easy to mess up. That's why it's really important to go back to your code and fix it whenever you need to. But that's essentially what the output is. It's like, it's a log that shows you a bunch of messages that, that either Roblox or yourself puts into the output. And we're and, and right now, what we're gonna do is we're going to write a message and put it inside of the output. So what we're gonna do here is um, make sure you've removed everything inside of the script. So what I want you to type first is in all lowercase, type in print. And then as you can see, it has automatically put in what they think we're gonna put down, which is print. And it provides a description here. It says prints all provided values to the output. So what I want you to do is now, I want you to type the left open parenthesis. And where that's located is it's basically shift nine and Roblox automatically put in the end parenthesis. So now what we're going to do here is we're actually going to put in double quotations in here and Roblox is going to automatically do that. So it's the shift apostrophe symbol. And so what we're going to do inside of here is that we're basically going to write a message to the output. Now, this message can be whatever we want the message to be. It doesn't matter what it is. We just want to be familiar with writing a print statement and putting it to the output. So we could say, um, welcome to my scripting tutorial series. I am your instructor, Brawl Battle. So that's what we're going to say here. So like I said, first, you're going to write print in all lowercase, and then you're going to add in the open parenthesis and close parenthesis. And then inside here, we're going to add in double quotations here, and then we're going to write whatever message we want. Now, again, this might seem confusing to you at first, but I promise you it'll make sense later down the line. Just uh, bear with me here. It'll all make sense later. So... Great, now we have this uh, line, the, our first line of code written down, but how do we test it? The way we're gonna test it is that we're gonna go back to our game, so we're gonna flip through the tabs again, and then we're going to hit this test tab up here. We click that, and then over here, there's a good old play button right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit play, and then what's gonna happen is that this script is gonna run, and then the message is gonna be put down here inside the output. So let's just see what happens. If we hit play, uh, we sh our character should load into the game and then yes as you can see down here uh, inside of the output our script has successfully executed and now it says welcome to my scripting tutorial series I am your instructor ball battle so if we click on it it'll show us uh, the scripts that executed when we uh, played the game so it works as intended so that's um, so that's good to know that our script is working and now we've successfully written our first line of code inside of Roblox Studio. So um, we, we hit play test and now our characters in the game, we can like move around however and do whatever we wanna do. But if we want to stop testing the game, we just simply go back up here and hit stop. And then we're back here inside of the Roblox Studio uh, overview of the game. So there's your first line of code. Um, but now what we can do is, uh, Instead of writing one print statement, we can actually write more print statements. So if we hit enter, we can drop a line. And then what I want you to do is I want you to write another print statement by doing all lowercase print. And then remember with the shift nine to do the open parentheses and close parentheses as well. And then do the double quotations and then type in another message that you want to type. Uh, so what we're going to type this time is um, like a series of print statements. We're going to write... We're gonna write something like, hello, uh, period, and then and then we're gonna drop another line, and then we're gonna make another print statement here with the same the with the same setup, and then we're gonna write another custom made message like, how are you doing today? And then uh, we can write another print statement here that says, I am doing good today, and then we can write another print statement here, how about you? And then we could just continue onward by by writing more print statements. I am also doing very well today. And so we just wrote down a bunch of print statements here. And if we go back into studio and hit play, um, all of these print statements should run. Yeah, as you can see down here. Uh, hello, how are you doing today? I am doing good today. How about you? I am also doing very well today. So great. 
um, our script, now we have multiple lines of print statements and all of them ran just as planned. So that's basically the main takeaway from this is we created a script for the first time and we wrote down a bunch of print statements that was able to be executed when we when we tested the game. And now you should be comfortable to write your own script with a bunch of print statements and to be able to test the game by by hitting the play button. So we've reached the end of print statements. And so now the learning objective here is I want you to continue writing more lines of code. Like maybe you can write a poem here or you can write like a little story here with uh, a bunch of print statements. And then what I want you to do is I want you to have the output open and then hit play so that you can see all of uh, uh, all of what you wrote down in your print statements here in the output. So that's your learning objective here for today. So this has been episode two of my Roblox beginner scripting tutorial series. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.